Summer is here and it is hot as hell outside. So this week on Theme Park Bar, we are heading to SeaWorld Orlando for a cocktail that is guaranteed to cool you off just by saying its name alone, the Glacier. Iceberg, run ahead! Hello, my name is Matt and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. Hey, I know y'all just saw that little intro that I like to play before every video, and you guys know I think the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. That is not a gimmick. I love grabbing a bar stool in a theme park and cooling down and getting maybe a little bit of a buzz while making my way to the next ride. SeaWorld Orlando is honestly my favorite park to grab a drink in, and I have had more cocktails there than any other park in town. I know that might be surprising here, especially that big boy right down the street with its passport around the world. SeaWorld Orlando has some of my favorite bars with Sharks Underwater Grill, which is just amazing, and Flamecraft, where I have probably spent more hours than really anywhere else in any theme park, really ever. Both of those bars have some amazing bartenders that you guys need to go and fill their tip buckets. Well, actually, there's a third bar that SeaWorld launched in 2020, the Glacier Bar, the star of this week's episode. The Glacier Bar is located by Wild Arctic and across from the soon to open Icebreaker Roller Coaster and it features on serving you some really cold libations. They have tons of frozen cocktails, icy cold draft beer, and the star of this week's episode, the Glacier Cocktail. You know, with a bar having a drink named after it, it has to be delicious and I tell you what, this one is. It's kind of like an updated tropically-ish version of a Moscow Mule and is guaranteed to cool you off both physically and mentally. Look, we know Sesame Street is right down the way and sometimes mommy and daddy just need a drink. That's why we're here. This cocktail is fantastic, crisp, refreshing, delicious, and easy to make. Most important of all, here's what you're gonna need. Two ounces of vodka, half an ounce of lime juice, one ounce of cream of coconut, and topped off with ginger beer. And optionally, you can throw in a splash of blue carousel, but that's only if you want to do that. All right, let's get the glacier made here. Of course, with a name like the glacier, we need a mixing glass full of ice, and I am talking a lot of ice. First, we're gonna start with our two ounces of vodka. Today, I'm using Reka vodka, which is an Icelandic vodka made with real glacier water. What does that mean for the flavor? Well, tastes like vodka. It's smooth, it's nice, it's crisp. Uh, it's a, a pretty good vodka for its price point, a really good utilitarian product to use. So two ounces of the Reka going right into our cocktail. All right. Uh, uh oh. Uh, you, you, you just, you live there for now. All right. From there, it's gonna be a pretty easy uh, cocktail to throw together. We're gonna to throw in half an ounce of our lime juice, one ounce of our cream of coconut. This stuff is sticky. I just like to eyeball this. About an ounce, you know, it'll, it'll feel when it feels right for you. Sorry, right, time to shake. Go ahead and grab your shaking tin, mixing tin, seal it up and give it a good shake. You really wanna incorporate the coconut cream. Just shake it, just shake this thing. Awesome. Now right, we're gonna pull up our serving glass today. I'm using the very appropriate Glacier color changing souvenir glass themed to Icebreaker, the brand new roller coaster opening. For then, just grab your cocktail and pour it in. Now you can see the color changing already. Now we're gonna need to top it up with a little bit more ice. Like I said, it's called the Glacier. You're gonna need a lot of ice for this one. And from there, we're gonna get our fresh ginger beer. Fresh, a fresh can of ginger beer, I should say. Top that cocktail off. Now at this point, you can throw in your optional uh, tiny splash of blue curacao. This is not gonna really do anything to the flavor of the drink. There's gonna be a touch of citrus in there, but you're gonna throw in such a minuscule amount. It's really just for color. If you don't have the color changing glass, which I really don't expect you to, unless you're a part of that hashtag SeaWorld Squad, uh, if you wanna serve this up, 
just the tiny spots of blue carousel is going to give you that nice rich blue uh, color that you think of when you think of a glacier. Except just a tiny splash. I'm not even going to give you a measurement because it's just a tiny splash. And there you go, quick and easy, just like that, from the Glacier Bar at Seaward Orlando. The iconic, the appropriately named Glacier Cocktail. Reka Glacier Made Vodka, Coconut Cream, Lime, Ginger Beer. It's, it's a little bit of a coconut Moscow meal going on. Now, there's one more piece of garnish, and that is going to be the iconic edible straw. That's right, SeaWorld is going to be serving edible straws. No paper straw for this bad boy. This is something you can find online. I'll leave a link to it for below. They can get these off of Amazon. And they're just little, uh, they're essentially candy. Go ahead and toss that in there. Really bring the entire thing home. All right, we got everything in the glass. Let's go ahead and give this one a taste. A little, little, little straw, a little jostle it. Mmm. Oh. That's very, very refreshing. The lime and the coconut. Oh my God, that just works perfectly. You know, you put the lime in the coconut, you drink it all up. The vodka, the Reka vodka is very, it's a very smooth. There's not really a sharp bite, despite there being two ounces of it in here. The ginger beer has a nice crisp snap to it. Mmm. Very, very straightforward. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Moscow Mules. It's not a cocktail I really gravitate towards, but the ounce of coconut cream in there adds such a great amount of sweetness without making it too overpowering, without making it too sweet or making even like a dessert cocktail. This is very much a summertime drink. This is very much a, a, a cool you down. Like, you know, obviously there's a ton of ice in here, but I'm feeling refreshed. It is, it, it's summertime, guys. It is hot as hell. Even on the set of Theme Park Park, these lights uh, around me here are not uh, the coolest thing in the world. Having this really cool glacier cocktail in my hand really is making the, uh, the hard work of internet fame <laughs> that much easier. I'm humble as hell, aren't I? Mm. As silly as the garnishes of the edible straw too, you know, I, I don't expect you guys to get these, but once again, that link is down there below for you. It helps add a nice uh, bit of lime to there. There is, a, of course, the half ounce of lime in the drink, but in a little bit of the lime on the straw, really, really ties it all together. Plus, no waste when you're done. You know, I can't think of a better way to spend a summer evening than having one or two of these for heading to Club Sea Glow for Electric Ocean for the Ignite Fireworks. A perfect way to spend your summer nights. Uh oh, my straw fell. No! Just as quick as it was to put that drink together, this video is coming to an end. Everyone, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for tuning in to this week's episode of Theme Park Bar and every week that you have. If you're a newcomer to the bar, if this is your first time here, let's make you a bar regular. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you're going to never miss a single thing I'm serving up here for you. You guys know I love me some theme park drinking and SeaWorld Orlando is honestly the best park for summer day drinking. There's some great bars out there and I want to know what's your personal favorite drink to get when you're out in the Florida summer heat. Are you a beer? Are you a cocktail? Are you a wine? Are you one of those people that drinks nothing but water? I mean, that's the healthy and responsible thing to do, but I'm just curious. Let me know in those comments below either way. And of course, you can chat with me about pretty much anything you want all over social media, at Twitter and Instagram, both at Theme Park Bar. You can also follow the links down below to support the channel or head to patreon.com slash theme park bar as well. Now, remember when you're going out, please make sure you're always being safe, you drink responsibly, and you never forget to tip your bartenders. Also, just take the paper straw. You don't need to complain to me or anyone else serving you drinks or giving a paper straw. It's better for the ocean. It's better for the environment. Has Cyril taught you nothing? Be good to the ocean. If we lose the ocean, uh, we're in for a bad time in humanity. And you know what? I want nothing but good times all around. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. Cheers.